Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today we want to do some updates on things that's been going on on the homestead. The uh, last few days, uh, we had a fire in our kitchen, so I'll talk to you a little bit about that. But first, I want to go ahead and show you an update on the onions that we planted a few weeks ago. So let's get started. Okay, y'all, the first thing I want to do is give you all an update on these onions. We planted these onions uh, two weeks ago, and uh, they're doing okay, but they're not growing as fast as I think that they should be growing. I have uh, one bed here, and I have another bed here, and both have onions, and they also have leeks. They have a variety of onions. Uh, go back and check the video um, I can't think of all the names but there are some bunching onions in here there are some leeks and there is a Texas uh, sweet onion and um, a yellow onion also there's a red onion so we have a variety of onions here but once your uh, crop is not uh, progressing as much as you think that it could we've been getting a lot of rain and I think what is happening is the nutrients are being uh, kind of uh, diluted in the soil. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add some fish emulsion to this, um, to both of these beds. And I'm also going to add some fish emulsion to my uh, garlic. If you remember, when I planted my potatoes, I had a, a little space left at the end where I had initially pulled from uh, that bed and that was the bed that I had my garlic in. And I had to remove the garlic because the, the soil was <laughs> infested with weeds. And so when I removed the garlic, I put the garlic back and it uh, turned brown. This is the garlic. And it turned brown, but it is beginning to uh, look more green. It's, it's greening up. So yeah, we don't know how this is gonna play out, but. I love garlic and I do not want to lose this garlic. So I'm going to also apply some fish emulsion to this garlic. Now, uh, fish emulsion is not vegan. So I know you all know that I am vegan, but I do not uh, plan to directly consume this fish emulsion. It will go in to feed these plants. And um, if I find something that works better, this is the fish emulsion. This is what the jug looked like, but I don't have the label because it's, you can see it's kind of gone through the ring. You have to shake it up and because it gets really, really thick. But uh, the manufacturer's directions says to add two tablespoons. Since I'm having to do this while I hold the camera, I'm gonna guesstimate how much two well it'll be two tablespoons to um a gallon so i have a two gallon watering can so i'm going to say that that is four tablespoons of fish emulsion to two gallons of water so the next thing that you want to do is you want to just stir it up. So I've gotten it stick and I'm just going to give it a good stir. Trying not to splash it, y'all, because this stuff smells bad. And once you have gotten it, you just want to go ahead and give it a water. And, and water it you know you're not really watering it because we've been getting a lot of rain so it's already been watered now if you were doing this and your uh crop was dry then you would want to go ahead and water before because you, you you're not using this uh technique to water the the crop you are using this to feed the crop and this is a automatic feed it's going to give it a boost. I see some weeds in there, I'm gonna have to pull because it will give them a boost and have them coming up real fast too. But it does, it works so fast to give your plants a good boost. And if you have, I call it a 911 
for the uh, plants because it's 511. That is the amount of nutrients that it has in it. But it is 911 for your plants because I say if your plants are looking sick, it will give them a boost and get them back to a good start. So I'm going to have to go ahead and add some more and finish this. But before I do, I want to go ahead and talk to you all about what happened. Uh, in my kitchen uh, on Friday, I was multitasking and uh, put a skillet on a cast iron skillet and getting stuff out of the car and doing other stuff and totally forgot about it. And it started a fire in my kitchen and my kitchen sustained a lot of damage. And I um, cannot use it right now. But the important thing is that we are all okay. So I just wanna you know, tell you all, make sure you have a fire extinguisher in your home, in your kitchen, and in other areas of your home where uh, could, you know, cause a fire could happen at any time. Don't uh, leave irons unattended, things like that. I know those things seem like common sense things and you think that you're on top of it. And then all of a sudden something happens and lets you know, it's like a, a wake up call to like, okay, slow down, you know? So you, we cannot do it all, but we need to at least uh, take some time and make sure that we are double checking ourselves to make sure that we are protected and protecting our families. So I just wanted to say that to you all today. I hope that you all like the video. I hope that you will give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next video.